Hey everyone, in this video I want to show you quickly how you can remove your background from your video clip using DaVinci Resolve and the Magic Mask. It is super fast and quick and you can create amazing social media short form content where you have pop in some um, devices. In my case it was the Insta 60 X3 and some other cameras. I want to show in but as a video and want to remove the background. I thought sharing this video and this technique with you helps you maybe to create these nice looking video clips as well and for your YouTube production. So let's jump right into it and we're having here DaVinci Resolve open and as you see here these are the clips I filmed and these clips are not really nice looking backgrounds but I didn't care in this moment because I want to have this clip without the background. This is the final resource at the end and there are some clips here but I mostly cut this away. So what I have to do first this mask down here is only the color mask as you see here and um, this is the color mask so all you have to do now is go into the color page first then you color correct your footage once you have done it you go into the note section here right click then add alpha output. So you have this alpha output channel, which is blue, and then you connect a line to the alpha output channel here. So now they are connected. What you have to do next is you go to magic mask to the symbol here, make sure to select this icon. This is more for person, but I use always the first one. And then first things first is toggle this on. Once this is on, you go to the plus and the minus. What it does is like you say like with the plus, this is what you want to show what you want to mask so now what you see here it is red this is only what you see when you have the mask on so you see already it's like cutting out really well so what do you have to do next with the minus you say like all this stuff don't put this on my mask. So once you have this done, you have this in the middle frame, which I recommend. You can choose the quality fast, which is very fast to like render or track all these points. With better, it's more smoother edges. So I mostly go with fast first, then I check, but then I end up mostly using the better option, especially here. There's no green screen or anything. So I use fast and then I go to this two arrows and clicking here and what it does now it's tracking back and forth from the middle part where I set the the mask first and this takes around like 30 to 40 seconds depends how long the clip is I recommend for my clips right now they are like five seconds long so it's better to cut the part really out you want to um, remove the background or also you can use this technique to for example here you can remove the background and you put a text in from left to right tracking for example so that's an easy way you can do. That's the other tutorial I could do if you want to know how to do this effect. Um, let me know. But now as you see uh, we have everything tracked and now I want to toggle this off and what I see is my mask out camera which is amazing. But now as you look closer you have these white stuff around here. So I was playing around a lot you can decrease everything how you remove the white outline what you see here uh, more with this sliders here the radius decreases a lot it's removes the white stuff and um, that's pretty good like I go mostly with two or three that's that's totally enough next you can do to soften the edges that they're not so cut out a lot you use denoise just a little bit because the more you go over you get these shadows here and that's white again and you don't want to have so I go a little bit up but even now it's like <clears throat> it's only on one so what you can do next with that is you can blur the radius so you make the radius a bit softer but even then the white comes back more so once you see now that the the denoise we put a little bit more up now we have softer edges but we have this white to remove the white outlines a bit more you go to black clip with black clip you can push even more in and this is now we have soft edges we have no white outline and this looks super clean and as you can see perfect so it took me five minutes to cut out this and all i have to do now is i have the cut out part here then i go to the clip right click say render in place and i want to choose progress 4444 what it does it creates an alpha mask so the background is black and removed and the foreground is 
the 360 camera at the end. You want to have in the video effect fusion composition because that's what we did with the mask and the color grading because we color graded before. Once you press OK, you choose the location folder where you want to have it. And once you have done it, so this is in progress already and it works very smooth when you edit in your video clip and you can save them in any storage. And if you need it for your new videos or any other videos, you just search them down here. And what you see is the cut hours video. So now you get to your tutorial. Let's say this tutorial here, what I create right now. And then you add this file and you see the video clip is in. And now you can remove it to the side so you not have this cut page version here. So you can scale it up even a bit more. And when I say like, hey, look, this is the camera so I can smooth them in. So what I did here when I was filming it, I already went from left to the right into the frame. So basically you have a transition and then you see it's like, hey, here, this is the camera you can use. I was like, how good is that? And especially if you create short form content, it is really engaging and that takes you only four to five minutes and you improve way more your video quality. So this way you can record these asset libraries with all your gear stuff you want to show. And then you have a way engaging theory you can show to your audience, especially for short form content in vertical. You know, all these engaging things where you like pop in so much stuff. So you can have it now in video and it's super easy to create. I create right now a whole timeline where I have all these cuts out. For example, my iPad, I cut out cable stuff. And this is stuff I want to show in in my tutorial, which you can see here where I talk about. So my favorite settings here is mostly go with the radius on two or three. Uh, two is fine enough. Then give denoise in. You get a little bit the white, but you can remove the white outlines with the black clip and then go down with the white clip. And if you want to improve it even more, you can put in a little bit more like 25 the clean white so play around with these and you can really make it really nice but um, i recommend first start with the radios give a little bit denoise in and then reduce or put in the and then put in the black clip and then the white clip reduce from 100 percent and that's basically all like don't get too fancy on this if you make really crazy stuff otherwise you can record really in green screen but here this was a like very fast and dirty way and this helps for most of us for the social media content and we save time and it looks amazing <laughs> so i hope you like it um hope you enjoyed this video if you want more of these types of tutorials and short so let me know i hope you learned how to use the magic mast in quick <laughs> and make this amazing cutouts and yeah if you have any questions please let me know in the comments down below don't forget to like and subscribe to see more future videos and until then uh, stay creative and see you in the next video